I'm honestly curious if Pavlov is ever going to stop. This has been years now of just relentless W's for this game, mainly from the community maps and modes that keep popping up out of nowhere with jaw-dropping quality what feels like every other month. But this time, it was the developers themselves who dropped a big fat juicy stake of a game mode into Pavlov proper that made me lose my mind for about the 14th time since downloading this blessed piece of software. Down today to Did they really get a grenade in here? It's a game mode called Push, and if you've played Push before, it's literally just Push. And it feels like VR combat taking its first grown-up steps. It's Pavlov making the leap from Call of Duty type gameplay to a more Battlefield-oriented type of combat. And the maps I've played so far are just insane. <laughs> This is insane. For starters, there are specific loadouts for specific types of soldiers on the battlefield, and only so many units of a given type are allowed on the field at once, i.e. medic, officer, anti-tank, assault, scout, or since it's set in World War II, Aufklarer, die Stromtruppen, die Panzerwerber, the sanitation. And before I go any further, I should clarify, the developers added the game mode but the maps and the loadouts can be custom made into anything by the community. I don't know for sure if these World War II maps I'm so in love with are community made or developer made. I discovered all of this on stream and the people watching were telling me it was a community made map, but I take chat's word with about as much salt as is contained in the Pacific Ocean. Hey, I was kinda wrong. Wait, the push formats such as the respawn lobby and bombs were made by the devs, but the map, loadouts, plant positionings, as pretty much everything else was fan made. What? So it's half and half? But beyond just the units, after you spawn in, it's literally push. You are either defending the two points or attacking the two points, and the attackers have to keep pushing and capture all of the points to win. And since there are like three or four stages of points to attack on these maps, some of these maps are gigantic. This is all the D-Day map. There's, D There's the beach over there, and it goes all the way to here. That is... Bonkers. The D-Day map especially is so perfect just as a concept. You literally start in the landing craft, push your way up the beach, ducking into bomb craters, hiding from the MG42s, physically duck mind you, at least I do because it's stupidly fun and immersive, and then you get up to the bunkers and try to clear them. But once you clear the bunkers, you continue on. Yes, headshot. Go, 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 go. Push. Ah. Yes, get in, get in, get in, get in. Unless, of course, you spawn in on the German side, in which case you just sit in a bunker and reenact history's first spawn camp. This feels wrong. And because of this setup, it really feels like Battlefield VR, vehicles included. It's literally the Battlefield game mode in virtual reality. And because this is a video that gets edited over the course of a week, I have seamlessly transformed into the future version of myself, who is now older and wiser, and I know now that these are community maps, and it goes far beyond just D-Day. He's trying to get in the tank. <laughs> you almost got it. Oh no! They ran over Spiffy. Ooh, that was close, that was close. All right, yeah, here we go, I got it. Pause. Hi, time code is on the screen. Do not waste your time. Please skip to there because today marks another new record, 27 atomic mirror brains. Um, this is like, baboon behavior at this point. This makes genuinely no sense. It takes my computer 25 minutes to render just the atomic mirror brains now. I spend a half an hour just waiting on my computer to stop crying itself to sleep. You all are reaching the physical limits of my technology. I need to become an auctioneer if I want to avoid spending an entire day rendering this. It's on the specific of badge just for the attack research to be self looking for flavor on things to this specific case. Thought the game's been able to be the attack and move in the other world that I was trying to find our genome It's the same amount of names. Why does it require more oxygen to just say them fat? I can't really gather what the Dutch found about our genome testing into hand because. What is this? Hey, Habby, this was a really bad financial decision. To all of you, I'll say it again. We're still here. It, it's been almost a full year. We're all still here. What's the plan? Stop it. Get some help. Ever since they added push about a month or so ago, or it, it might be longer at this point, there has been an explosion of custom content for this game mode. 
Go on the server browser and sort by push and don't hide the empty lobbies. There are dozens of different maps so far. Maps in the snow with red army weapons, maps in the desert with English weapons, and camels. Unfortunately, most of them are empty, but that's not just a Pavlov thing, that's a VR thing. If you get on in the evening, or especially on the weekend, you can find full lobbies, which you need to. 20 plus players is the only way to get the full experience. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes, thank you. Anyone else? Spiffy, come on Spiffy. Hey, your, your Uber's here, welcome. Hey. I've got water bottles in the back. And if you are desperate, I will be playing these maps the day that I post this. We will be live on Twitch at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am posting this on Saturday, so if it is Saturday and it is 2.30 or later, come join. The lobby will be open. It will almost certainly be full most of the time, but it will be open and you can try. Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> this just feels like the next logical step for Pavlov. Push is the Pavlov game mode for me now. When I get on Pavlov, I'm getting on to play Push, not Team Deathmatch. And seeing the developers make something themselves and then give it to the community as a tool to make whatever they want out of it is so cool. It makes me feel all warm and squishy inside because it's a community effort. Uh. Anyways, thank you Pavlov for entertaining me again. Thank you to you for watching me over explain my gaming habits last week, and I will see you in about two and a half hours. Like this video if you're feeling generous, but love yourself no matter how greedy you are on the inside. And if it's already past Saturday at 2.30, then I will see you again uh, on the backside of my AIO pump where I probably forgot to put thermal paste. I'm bringing this up because I, I genuinely want to know, is that a problem? A am I... Is this bad? Do I need to like take apart my computer? Do they come pre-applied? Please help. This is this isn't an outro. This is a call for help. I'm sorry. Okay. Goodbye. Hello. Would you like a ride? Your Uber's out front. Yeah. There you go. You got this. I believe in you. You can do this. You're almost there. Any day now. Yeah.